Over 400 petting zoo critters. Pumpkins, fall, and Halloween decorations. Live Oak Canyon. The Hyundai Traffic Center on the KTLA 5 Morning News. There's never been a better time to test drive that Hyundai you've always wanted. It's your journey. Own every mile. Visit buyhyundai.com or see your SoCal Hyundai dealer today. Rediscover your perfect combination at Pechanga Resort Casino. No matter what your game is, the excitement and relaxation you're looking for is here. So get back to the fun at Pechanga Resort Casino. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman. Israel's defense minister tells soldiers there to prepare for a long and painful ground battle against Hamas. And President Biden will address the nation about the Middle East tonight. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. The U.S. House of Representatives still without a speaker today. Congressman Jim Jordan can't get the votes needed to win the speakership, so now he's supporting a bipartisan backup plan to get bills moved onto the floor. We'll explain a live report from Washington. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. One Southern California city is considered the most expensive place to live in the entire country. We'll tell you where and why just ahead. Good morning, I'm Andy Reesmeyer in for Sam Rubin today. So she's played with the Zac Brown Band and she's also just fresh off of her tour called Barefoot and Pregnant. Singer Caroline Jones is here in studio with a live performance that you don't want to miss. That's coming up. That sounds great, actually, and our weather forecast, not so great. I mean, if you're into the heat, summer continues. If you want some of that cooler fall temperature weather, uh, that's going to take just a little bit of uh, time to happen. All the way through the weekend, uh, we will see these temperatures dropping off. But in the meantime, it's going to be pretty hot. Sky Park, Santa's Village, Lake Arrowhead is in the background. In the foreground, the temperatures of 77 with a high today. Coastal, downtown 86. 101, San Fernando Valley. High Desert, 94. 99, Inland Empire. Orange County, Inland, 90 degrees. Frank. Now at 10, a prayer service getting underway this hour on the campus of Pepperdine University. It's being held in honor of four students who lost their lives Tuesday night on PCH. KTLA's Carlos Herrera, live in Malibu with the details for us. Carlos, good morning. Hey, good morning, Frank. And that prayer service set to start any minute now at the Firestone Fieldhouse on campus, uh, uh, where there will be hundreds in attendance, according to the university officials, including friends, family members, and of course, classmates of the four young victims. Later tonight, there will be a candlelight vigil at 8 p.m. at the amphitheater. So today, of course, will be all about mourning and uh, trying to process these unfathomable losses. Here they see you see them now, the four young lo uh, lives lost, four young women in their early 20s. All of them students here, of course, uh, Deslin Williams, Asha Weir, Neve Rolston, and Peyton Stewart were seniors at uh, Seaver College of Liberal Arts, and they were members of the Alpha Phi sorority. The young women were walking along Pacific Coast Highway Tuesday night when a speeding crashed into them and killed them. Surveillance video shows the moment the BMW goes speeding by on PCH just seconds before the crash. Authorities say 22-year-old Malibu resident Fraser Michael Bohm was behind the wheel. He was seen here getting a field sobriety test. He was booked on suspicion of vehicular manslaughter, but was later released with sheriff's officials saying that the investigation is still being conducted. This morning, Malibu Mayor Steve Uring making an impassioned plea to the public to slow down, be extra careful and cautious while driving on PCH. He tells me the stretch of road known as Dead Man's Curve has for years been the scene of too many horrific crashes that have claimed lives in the past. He's now calling on the state to help make some much needed changes. We have had a very difficult time getting the resources we need to be able to protect everybody and make sure that highway is dealt with the way it should be. I think we've got a case that says these, these deaths on PCH are serious enough. We have to do something. Uh, and I think he's, you know, I think he'll hear that message, and I hope he'll give us the help we need to sort of slow this thing down. Earing there referring to Governor Gavin Newsom, the mayor and L.A. County Supervisor Lindsey Horvath saying uh, that they are unified in their call for action, saying, quote, 
I have asked Governor Newsom to include Malibu in the speed camera pilot being explored by the state and will work with our legislators to ensure necessary steps are taken to improve safety on our state highways in the area, including PCH. This morning, no word yet on whether the governor will prioritize Malibu in that pilot program. In the meantime, the sheriff's department saying they'll have to focus on educating residents and drivers about the dangers that they will face while being here on PCH. We'll send it back to you guys. Carlos, thank you. President Biden will address the nation this evening on the Israel-Hamas war in the Middle East. Meantime, Egypt says it will allow humanitarian aid to cross into Gaza. Kate Lays Eric Spillman is in the newsroom with the latest. Eric, good morning. Morning, Jessica. In his speech tonight, President Biden plans to ask Congress for more aid to Israel to support its war against Hamas. Meanwhile, Israel's ground offensive could begin at any moment.